Let's peek at the motherboard under the microscope. It's obvious that the phone came from another repair shop because the V-Bus line is already welded. Let's look at the other side. If you also notice that this area already has fluxes. It looks like this area we should focus on. And it looks like this SMD resistor has burned out. Attach the motherboard into the PCB holder. Heat the shielding with hot air gun at 400 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. Then pry up the shielding with tweezers. Remove the shielding carefully. Clean with PCB cleaner. Run diode mode measurement of the SMD resistor with the multimeter. The value of the SMD resistor is not normal it needs to be replaced. Put some paste flux. Heat the SMD resistor with hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 50. Remove the SMD resistor. Place a new SMD resistor then solder with hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 50. Measure the value of the SMD resistor again. The value of the SMD resistor returns to normal. Detach the motherboard. Connect with the DC power supply again. After replacing the SMD resistor, the motherboard became shorted. Attach the motherboard into the PCB holder again. When the power supply touches the VBAT line, the voltage will first flow to diode, SMD resistor, capacitors, coil, and charging IC. Run diode mode measurement of the capacitors connecting to the VBAT line. The measured value of diode and capacitors is not normal. Let's try to find out the location of the shorted component by this rosin pen. Smoke rosin the component with short circuit. Using the short killer touched the black alligator clip to the ground and the red probe pin to the VBAT line. Rosin on capacitor melts immediately. Remove the shorted capacitor with tweezers. Clean with PCB cleaner. Measure the value of the diode and capacitor connecting to the VBAT line again. 
the value of the diode and capacitor returns to normal. Detach the motherboard. Assemble the motherboard to test. Connect the charging, display, and battery flex cables. Plug in the charger. The phone is now charging. Trigger with tweezers to power on the phone. The phone boots normally. Samsung Galaxy A10s no power, full short it has been successfully repaired.